He's hey. Hey, <laughs> Toss it off. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that beard's getting a bit of light to it. Just on that left side, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no, not bad. What are you doing here, mate? We're setting up your mono? Yes. Onto your braid? Correct. Ready for later? Ready for a little bit later. Uh, mm. The key is to cinch it. Oh yeah, we've got that really nice and cinched there. I can see that. It's looking, looking good. That's the Alberto knot, isn't it? Yes. Modified Alberto knot. There's the modified Alberto knot. Well, the nickel's modified. Yeah, nickel's modified. Probably fall apart. Yeah, <laughs> first fish. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, shouldn't have modified it. Serious, serious, serious setup. Serious setup there. Yep. We're we looking and for for makers or something in the bay, are we? Or talk um, us through it. Um, Maybe a prepared, great white. Prepared. Scrolling for... through the heads. Yeah. Hey, hang on a second. How's that? Is that really shining the light on? The star of the show. Got to get as much light on me as we can. Well, that's oh, much okay. better. It's probably too bright. Not too bright. Don't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Now the plan is today, since this is about the first time in three weeks to be able to get out here, and I'll just check to see whether I'm recording. Yes, I am recording, which is good. Here in front of uh, Rye, some squid beds here. So when I say squid beds, I mean weed beds. Got some, some weed beds in front of Rye, gonna try and catch yourself some squid before we head out. Not quite sure yet, we'll go offshore, we're gonna stay in the channel yet, so yet to be decided, so uh, stay tuned. Go on already, haven't we? Yeah. Oh. Of course. Only a little one, but perfect bait size. Oh, it's good. Perfect bait size squid. It's a good one. Oh. A little bit of a squid there. Let him do his little. Oh, we got that on, mate. We got that on. Uh, that is that your a brand new Gamagatsu, is it? Yama Yamashita. Yamashita. That's a Yamashita, that one. That's a Yamashita. Yamashita pink. And I'm using a Yamashita Black. Already, it's one love. So the pink is beating the black at this yep. point in time. Yep. And yet, squid are colour blind. I only see in shade, so maybe the texture in your pink. Any enlightenment on that? No, I've got no real answer to that. The main thing I tell kids at home is when casting, Always have your rod pointing where you want the jig to go. Nice, oh, that's a good mm -hmm. little tip for fucking... Kids find it. Good little tip for Frank, just watch no, it around. Clean your neck, keep your neck clean. Mm -hmm. Find that critical. It's almost like you're deep frying him then. Oh, giving him a little... Yeah, that's one for the black, yeah, shit up. Now the water is that clear at the moment, you can literally see the... Uh... There's normally multiples. Yeah, well... I'll get it down, hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm talking Yamashita. <laughs> oh, they went over! Oh, they went over again! The squid jig is basically... That's 300 mil off the bottom there. <laughs> Captain's popping us right on the mark. Bass trade hasn't been working for us lately. The last three weeks we've gone out there, it's been like a washing machine with the southwest wind blowing through. Today we've decided to drop into uh, one of our GPS marks that we've had from last season and give a bit of gummies a go today. We're just behind Mud Island in the South Channel Island, uh, sorry, in the South Channel. Wouldn't know it, would you? Wouldn't know what? Well, but it's nearly mid-December mm -hmm. and you're in a hoodie and yep. jumper. Yep. It's supposed to be summer. What the hell's going on? Put on a jumper, mate. Oh. Desperate for a coffee. A couple of sachets and some heated water. And away we go. Right. Oh, yeah. It's rather thick, that, isn't it? Got a little bit of tension, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon there's something that's holding that bait. Don't know uh, if it's a. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're right. I reckon. Well, the official wants a force. Have you? Interesting. Very nice. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's it. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, the other way. This is taking off. What 
you reckon big ray or something or monster ray? Could be. Doesn't feel like one, he's on your side now. I think it's a big ray. It's a monster ray. Ah, looks like we got something. I just decided to sort of have a little bit of a little bit of a tinkle. I mean, people like to eat these, but. Uh, I just can't see the benefit in them when they've got stuff or meat on them. Yeah. All the effort you Stuff, little fillet. And the chance, the chance to, spike to spike yourself and just horrendousness, you know. So, Mr. Gernard's going back in. And go and get stuffed. Typical Melbourne day today. Started off cold, cloudy. A relatively light winds though. And now look at it. Before we're in uh, a beanie and a jacket, and now we've got the hat on and the sun's shining. There's no clouds in the sky. It's absolutely magnificent. And to make things worse, I've got to leave soon. So now on our luck, we'll get onto a gummy right when I've got to go. Yeah, you want this? Nah, you got it. Let me the cameraman take, take this and the captain. Just take. being gentle. Just be gentle because that's only like minimal metal oh, line and drag. this is horrendous. This will be so awesome if we get that I in. said this to you, I'm like, what are you putting on this thing? Because it's not geared up to do this. Uh, all right. And it's mono too. Yeah, it's all mono. Oh, God. Don't stress, mate. Just that's great. I love it. Just take Challenge. it easy. Oh, yeah. We've got the net there. We've got the net ready. We've probably got that little ray again, you know. Where are you going? Up the front. Not a choice. What have we got? Well, he's going back the other snapper. way. Snapper. I reckon a snapper. Make sure you hold it up a little bit. Easy. 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 <laughs> Tighten it up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'll some line back. Oh, if we get this bitch in. It was pulsating like a snapper tail kick. Really? Yeah. Just. On a four kilo line, mate. Just getting a little bit of line back. Just be gentle. We don't want to upset this fish. <laughs> we want him to stay calm. Just uh, we, we don't want to upset the fish. All right. I'm just slowly. Why didn't you put heavier line on this? Well, I wasn't meant to be catching massive snapper on it or anything or uh, rays. It felt like something. It felt like a, either a gummy or a um, snapper. If I land this. <laughs> it would be the greatest fucking achievement ever. Oh, just, just. I actually do not know what I put on that. Oh, I quite. think it's 30 or 40 pound mono. You have the drag pretty much off. It drags at 11 kilo. Yeah, but like I'm winding it. We've got a four kilo it. rod. We must be close to the bottom. Yeah, it must be just on the bottom. No, I'll have to get the gaff ready, I think. If the rod breaks in half, I'll cut you half. Don't worry about the rod. Don't worry about the rod. Can you? Gummy? Hey? It's down the back near you, Lawrence. Oh, Lost him. It let go of it! It was a gummy. Okay. It just let go. 
I can see some long, go. long and grey. I can't believe that. How the hell does a gummy just let go like I that? I don't know, it must have just not been hooked. Fuck! <laughs> I just saw it in here, I'm like, oh, I'm only, I could just see it white. It was a gummy, for sure. An absolute cracker of a fish that was. I didn't even see it, I was actually trying to organise the uh, battery for the GoPro because it died on me. And next minute, zzz, and the shark uh, captain just dove across and grabbed it. And it looks like we had a gummy about that big, you reckon? No, it's about a metre. It about a metre. Yeah. On a light rod, got up to the surface and just couldn't couldn't quite bring it in. So, bit of excitement in the last uh, half hour. It looks like Mr. Tinney over here has got himself another ray. Hopefully, hopefully our ray. Oh ray, our ray. And then we'll all say hooray! Hooray! <laughs> you ticket. Right here, we got bust ups here. What a nice buddy. It's a cracker. Absolute. Right. That's a. It's actually got a bit of weight to it too. Yeah, nice. It's a good one. It's really good. I don't mind flatty as long as they're like that. Now that's what we wanted. We'll get some rods out of the water. Yeah, maybe. That's your gummy. That's, that's your gummy. gummy. Captain's on to another one. <laughs> this will be the one that'll make me late for the <laughs> tonight's bloody day. They'll understand, I'm sure. Uh, nice and easy. So you gotta take it easy on these fish. Invite them over for a cup of tea in the afternoon. Yeah, well that's the idea. Eh? Yeah. I if I can warn this one in a bit too, eh? Well, you should be alright, I reckon. Like, he seems pretty well mannered. Oh, it's well mannered today. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just get a bit of pressure on him. Just easy back in the current. Got another fish yourself, have it? Oh, fuck your point, mate. Oh, yeah, what's going on here? As long as you haven't got a ram, then, eh? that'd upset me. Oh, you got your own. That's all right. I'll cop your tangle in your own. As long as you're not around this. Have we got a GoPro going or anything? On again. Ooh, he's certainly, uh... Nasty. Yeah, he's certainly saying, listen... I don't really want to come in board today. He's not playing cricket. Not playing around. No, I'll have to just negotiate with him. Just a little bit of negotiation wouldn't go far astray, would it? No. Hey. Only thing we haven't got is victory uh, Canadian clubs if I land the fish. Oh, we'll buy some of the way over. We'll have to. Keep his head coming. Well, he got his head up, there you go. Yeah, he's coming this way. Oh. So we've got a net and everything ready? Yeah, I've got a net just there. Okay, excellent. Not sure about a gap or anything. Oh. That's how we're getting close there, right? Yeah, you took a bit of line. Again, you're saying I'm trying to come up the surface. What about your other rod? Do you not going to uh, get that? I hope not. Yeah, so, all right. Yeah. That's pretty good, I think. Ray, is it? No, is it? it's not. Uh -huh. Must be seven gill. Gummy? Could be gummy. 
Look at the big freaking gummy. Looks like a gummy. Doesn't it? Fingers crossed, it's a good gummy. It's looking like a... That's a good gummy. Well, that is a good fish. So, if you don't mind, it's only on mono. So do you reckon we can... Uh, got him swimming in there. Do you want to get some footage of him in the water? Like he's just calm at the moment. What a fish. Monster. Good fish, eh? Yeah. Fucking brilliant fish. Okay. Trying to get her back in. She's going in. All the pups are kicking. Yeah. Release this girl. Get some fish on. Go on. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, what a ripper. What a good catch. What an awesome fish. What a day. That is the biggest gummy shark we've ever caught in Port Phillip Bay. What a cracker of a day. It actually started off very, very slow. Started off very cold, cloudy, virtually zero bites. And all of a sudden it got to about um, probably 11.30, 12 o'clock. And then the hole at the back of the boat just started lighting up. There was just bite after bite after bite. It was just sensational in the end. What an awesome fish, eh? That big gummy, big girl I was. I'm gonna go grab the boat and we're gonna go home. Well, that's it for another episode of Finding Joe. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.